Hello fellow engineers and welcome to, I nearly said Builder Simulator Bunker. Bunker Builder Simulator. Yes, despite my constant warnings, we are now at war with the architects. And today we'll be building bunkers under the ground where they're devoid of any architecture. Lovely. So we start, oh god. We start off here, look at a map with a very low sensitivity mouse, but a very high sensitivity walking speed. Okay, but now that's fixed in the settings, let's see what we've got. The game wants us to go to our laptop to do the mission. Can we escape? The door is locked. Uh, and out the window, there's there's a hedge. Is it? <laughs> it's not actually a hedge. It's just a sheet of texture. Love it. Now, I also love how many copies in this bookshelf of Wonder Why, Wonder How, and, and its mirrored cousin there are in this bookshelf. Sorry, I should have a go. I should have a go. Let's get into the mission. Right, so in the laptop, I've done the tutorial. Let's do our friend's request. Because our old friend always wanted a small bunker in his backyard. He asked if you could build it. So here we are in his backyard. You can see there's his car. Very nice number plate. Nice, nice. And to start off, we're going to dig the floor. So can this just go anywhere? Do I just keep digging? I'm just going to keep digging. I've got a giant blackberry on my thing. <laughs> what do I do with this? Oh yeah, what I actually do with this, I can pop it down and then I can carry on digging. So, wow, there's the bottom. Now, I don't know how big does... How... Oh, hey, mate, Steve, are you still in there, mate? I think he's gone out in his car. I forgot to ask him how big he wanted this. Right, well, anyway, we'll head down and then I think we'll just do some digging. Now, usually not very sensible to uh, dig a grave-sized hole on your own. But uh, I'm sure this will be fine. So we're just going to dig. And luckily I found out as you place dirt down again. So if I right click to drop that. I can literally just keep digging and it's fine. So somehow we're just getting rid of this dirt like anything. I am not going to complain because it's helping me out massively. Oh, oh, we've hit the wall. There's the fence. Oops, I didn't see how far I was digging. <laughs> anyway, uh, not really. Sh how am I meant to get out of here? How deep is their foundation to their house as well? All right, I tell you what, I tell you what. I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, man, this is a lot of digging. This is a lot of digging, though. <laughs> I thought it'd be faster than this. All right, I think we got the basis of a very, very strong bunker going on. Oh, look at all these things we can build. We can build so much. We'll start off with the floor. You can see it's sort of, it's, it's wider than we can actually build. So we've got to keep, we've got to keep digging so it's at least that wide. Right, okay, that's good. We'll just do the same on this side. So more dig in this direction. Right, then realize the trench you've dug is sort of bigger than his entire house. Still, I think we're good. Still looking efficient. So, so if we head into here, we can buy a few planks. So we've got them. We can then shove them on the workbench and then we can chop them up. So if we just cut down like that, we've got a couple of planks. So we'll come down here and then that is the formwork for our concrete. We do need four of those. So we'll head back up, grab this one, shove it on there, chop up this other plank like that, chop, chop, chop. And then we've got warm work, which means we can pour concrete onto it as soon as we've hit in these nails. So if we select to our murder weapon of a hammer, <laughs> I've been assured that's rust. Not sure I'm convinced. Now we can come down and give all of these a boosh like that. Get in, get, oh, I think here that one a bit too, a bit too far in. Oh, maybe that's what they're meant to look like. Oh, there's also one on top. There we go. All right, so now that's nailed together. We need some cement in here. So climb back out the right nut. Buy some cement bags. And then we can grab this cement and, oh, God, careful not to fall down. We can plonk them in there. And then turn the cement mixer on. And that is mixing perfectly. So if we just grab a bucket now, we can take a scoop of the cement and then just plop it in there and then we have a floor next up we can build some walls so let's get those in so i think i want to do one there for sure and you know what in order for this to be efficient i'm gonna have to do a bit more building so we do a floor piece there a floor piece there one there and one there dig out these ones all right so that's that one done so we'll just do this one over this side all right so in order to get all those done we need a lot more planks so we'll just climb out this nut again Buy a load more planks, chop them all up. And then we got the formwork for that one down and that one and all the others, which means we can go to the hammer and then we can just nail all of these in. So boosh and a whole lot of booshing later. We're ready for a concrete port. So there you go. There's that one, that one done. And the final one, which means we're nearly there. We're actually onto the walls finally. So we'll just make sure all the walls are in first going to be a lot of wall this but remember we're not we're not doing architecture here we're trying to make this super strong 
and we know that this is going to be the most efficient bunker layout. So we've got to go to the shop. We've got to buy some steel beams. We're going to need them for the walls. So that will bloody hell. <laughs> Okay, don't buy too many of them at once. Look at the flange of those. That is a girthy eye beam. Bloody hell. Right, anyway, so we grab these and then we put them into the wall. We need four for each wall. Blooming out. So I guess we just buy loads of those. I got 400 grand. These only cost a tenner each, I'm seeing. So there, <laughs> there they go. Actually, it's quite handy that they're all just falling in because it makes them a lot easier to grab. Oh, no, we might have lost some over the neighbor's house. Oh, well. We'll keep grabbing all these, shoving them in the walls. And then eventually these walls should start turning into that. And they will act as retaining walls to keep the ground from caving in to our, to our bunker. Okay, and then after a bit more of this, we're pretty much there. We just need three more and then we got to do this one. I made sure to do that one last so I could actually get out. So I think we're putting a ladder in so we can escape. Anyway, so that's that one done. So now we're in like a, a knob-shaped Faraday cage. We've just got this one to go, which needs three steel beams. How many do I have? No way. I've actually got three left. I actually clicked the right amount. See, people underestimate me. They think I don't know what I'm doing, but I do. I do. All right, so that is that in. Uh, all we got to do now, we got to get our trusty screwdriver out. Because all of these, they need a bit of screwing. So we've got to make sure we screw in these four screws. Because they are essential to every piece of wall. And if everyone takes this long, I'm going to be here quite a while. <laughs> okay, so yeah, leave me doing this. And then I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, probably like 40. But yeah. One hour later. So next up, each of our walls, they need four cut planks. So we can buy a load of planks. Gonna need a lot of these. So I will just keep doing that. They actually cost the same as a steel beam as well. I feel like that's a bit of a ripoff. Or maybe the steel beams are very good value. Either way, we're gonna get a load of those. And now we gotta do what we did before. Just shove them on here. Give them a saw in half. And then we gotta manually take each one down. Place it in the wall. And then we end up with that. Ooh, hoarding. And basically, that's more formwork. So we can now fill that with concrete. Uh, but first, I've got to do all these other ones. So I'll see you in probably like an hour or two. Two hours later. But anyway, these are the last two screws. And then we've just got four planks of wood to go in this thing. Uh, and unfortunately, I've got quite a lot of wood left over. I may have gone a bit overboard. But still, I've got quite a good system. We go in, we cut it in half. We run over here, plonk it in, and then there's a reset button which takes us back up here. So it didn't actually take too long. Um, and now all the formwork is done. So we just need a load of a load of cement down here. Now, unfortunately, I've got to buy it and it's going to land on that stuff. So I think I need like probably 10. Let's just start with five. Let's keep it sensible because I think only two of these can go in at once. So two of those are in. We'll turn it on. That's mixing up nicely. And then turn it off. Grab a bucket. Oh, and I can pour from above. Oh, one pour does the entire wall. And impressively, look at the thickness of that wall and the thickness of the, the steel beam. Apparently, when we pour concrete into that, the steel disappears and goes thin. Uh, <laughs> okay, game, if you say so. Anyway, I think I just need to buy one more bag of cement and then that's it done. So the final wall port, there it goes. So next up, we've got to build a ladder so we can access this place. So concrete ladder, let's shove that. Probably the right nut. I feel like that's the right place to enter. I think everywhere else can be concrete ceilings. So we need two steel beams on there. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Then of course, we just need to screwdriver this all together. So just two screws in this ladder. That holds everything together perfectly. And then thankfully, we do need four cut planks because uh, I've still got quite a few of those left over. So we'll chop them up, shove them on there. And then, oh, I assume we're ready to pour the concrete ceiling. So there it goes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> right, now I'll just do the same for the other bits of ceiling. So we'll buy a few more steel beams. Get all of those in. Then we got to do a bit of screwdrivering. Now, not going to lie, that sort of looks like wood close up. I feel like we may have been ripped off on the steel beams there. Oh, there we go. Look, it's been propped up. It's been propped up so it can support the weight of the concrete. That's cool. So we've got a speed run technique down. We just fall in, reset, grab one of these, cut it in half, do it as quick as possible. Grab that, jump while clicking. 
Trouble is, this end one doesn't seem to want any cut planks. I know you need cut planks. Wait, or do you? Do you need screwing first? It might need screw. It needs screwing first. Imagine putting a plank in without screwing these two screws in. The carnage that would have unfolded. All right, there we go. All right, so back to speed run it. Speed cut. Speed douche. Speed that. Speed jump. Speed place. Speed reset. Right, we are doing it. All right, and now we sort of have our underground bunker. We just need to head back upstairs and uh, get a load more cement. So do a bit of mixing, pour it on there, sorted. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> it's actually really cool. Right, let's head down the, the ladder. So we need to make this place a bit cozier because you can't survive just like that. I mean, there's also, there's sunlight coming in somewhere. I blame the architect. I blame the architect. But uh, we need to build a bed. So let's build, apparently this is a bunk bed. It doesn't look like a bunk bed in my honest opinion. Developer. I think we'll sleep there. Proper in the middle of the room. So we just got to screw this bed. It's a ghost bed at the moment. We haven't added any resources, but we are just going to screw some... We're screwing some bolts into a ghost bed. And then once the last one is in, what... Oh, that literally just makes a bed. Again, is this a murder weapon or is that meant to be rust? Not entirely sure. Yeah, we also need a toilet. Now, you would have thought you have to plumb toilets in. No, 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 no. Not in a bunker. In a bunker, you can literally just grab a toilet and you can just... And we'll shove it in there, like in the corner. So if you're if you're pooing in the bunker, you really should be ashamed of yourself. So that is the shaming toilet. Again, remember, no no plumbing required. Very very modern techniques for for toileting here. Um, in order to build this, can you can you see what we have to do? We have to screw in the toilet roll holder because. <laughs> Because if you don't have a toilet roll holder that's secure, you're going to have a bad time. But there you go. There is the toilet. Yeah, we should probably add a few more things down here as well. Like we got some we got some lights. Let's get some brown, some brown lights going on. So again, these need screwing in. We're screwing that straight into the concrete. No wires needed. The question is, will it give us light? Um, oh, yeah, it has. It actually has. So yeah, we'll do one over the bed. Definitely want to do that. So screw you guys in. There we go. Don't know why we have a shadow of Batman above us. <laughs> Bit disconcerting. When you look up, he's, he disappears. He's like that old Batman. Anyway, we're now full of light down here. You won't be you won't be shamed in the dark. Don't worry. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I sort of want to build one of everything just to see like how we screwdriver it. So nightstand next to the bed, of course. I have a garage cabinet the other side. Storage. Better shove an air vent in so we can breathe down here. Sort of forgot about that earlier. I have a desk for when I get a gaming PC. That can go there. Big table in the middle for when all my friends come for dinner. At the moment, it's just me, so we'll just have one chair. All right, so for the chairs and tables, it's a case of hammering nails in really close to your face. I'm definitely convinced that's not rust now. Same with these. It's so close to me. <laughs> Why is it so close? Anyway, that's the table done. So you need screwing. So just four bolts down the front. Same with this thing. Oh, look, we're actually inside. We're doing some internal screwing now. This one is relatable if you've ever bought a computer chair. You've got to screw in the damn arms to it. A final bit of hammering. The shelving just needs one screw and then it's done. Decent. What is this? <laughs> doing the fan makes your eyes blurry. I don't understand why it's blurry. But anyway, two screws on that. Then that's done. We can breathe again. Uh, time for some supply. Why are there so many different supplies? Anyway, being someone that lived through a pandemic, I know the most important supply on here. It's not gas. It's not protein like tuna. It's not medical supplies. It's toilet paper. So we're going to stock up like lockdown has just happened again. Oh, this game's actually really inclusive to short people. You're not allowed to put anything on the top two shelves because uh, not everyone will be able to reach that. I like that. Accessible for everyone. As long as you can get down the vertical ladder into this place. But yeah, that's my that's my bunker. What do you guys think? Is it is it safe? Is it secure? I mean, logic says that is very, very, very strong and should survive those architect bombing runs. Anyway, let's finish the mission and I'll say peace, love and bunkers. Bye, guys. Also, I'm not joking. Someone's literally drawn a knob on that and then crossed it off. That is obvious.